Hey guys, you're watching Archetype Game Dev, and this tutorial series will be focused on C++ and learning C++ by Blueprint. So if you already know Blueprint and you want to make a transition from Blueprint to C++, I'll try to explain some things in C++. Uh, so I'll try to find a connection between those two. For example, if you can see Spawn Actor in C++ and Spawn Actor in Blueprint. Although they look uh, different, they're actually quite similar. And uh, I will explain why we write down in uh, C++ the way we do. And that will be later in series. For now, in this uh, video, I will only explain the CPP uh, file and .h file. Just to tell you, this tutorial won't be focused on installing Visual Studio, so you'll have to do it on your own. So download Visual Studio 2017 and install it for Unreal Engine. And when you install, create new project, basic code with starter content and call it CPP tutorial. Okay, so we have our project open and we'll create new C++ class. So we'll go to C++ classes and say new C++ class. As you can see, it has all the same classes as in Blueprint. If you create the Blueprint, for example, you will see pawn, character, actor and so on. So we will create a new class of actor and we will call it my actor. Yeah, it's fine name for for the beginning. Okay, so we just press create class. And now we'll uh, just wait for compiler to compile C++ classes. Okay, so when compile is complete, you can see that we have .cpp and .h file, which actually differ, but they are of the same class. Uh, and I'll start first with .h file. .h file, you can see that uh, we actually put uh, declarations in in that file. Uh, we say for example we're gonna have variable, we're gonna have function and so on. It will be similar to this side of blueprint. So we say for example I'm gonna have integer variable, I'm gonna have uh, I don't know boolean variable which will be called uh, b uh, my bool, it uh, doesn't matter, and I will have uh, some kind of function which will be I don't know my func but we only declare it in .h file. We don't do any kind of, for example, this part implementation. This is done in CPP. So the only declaration is done in .h file. And the best example of this is already declared. Uh, you can see that it's generated tick and begin play. That means that we're going to use begin play and we're going to use tick. As I told you, left side. We, we are using begin play, we are using tick, and we are using actor begin overlap, although that is not by default generated, but we can use it in on this actor. Doesn't matter for now. So that is .h file. It's only declaration of what you're gonna use. And if we go to our CPP file, we can see that we have our begin play and our tick. And you can see after the name, you have these kind of curly braces. And whatever is between those curly braces will happen sequentially. Uh, for this super begin play or super take, just ignore it. It has to do with the uh, inheritance. For now, just ignore it. It's actually empty function. Uh, just as this is also empty. So let's say that we want on begin play to print something, to add something, to set something. Doesn't really matter. So you can see by nodes what will happen. In C++ we will write one after the another. So let's say print, add, set something. These are just imaginary functions. So you can see on begin play whatever is between curly braces will happen sequentially. So print, then add, then set something. But I'll talk about functions in the future. For now I'll just uh, explain the basic things about CPP and .h file. And if you go on top, you can see that we have this. It has uh, two times uh, name of the uh, of the class, and it's similar to this, but it's actually totally different because this is called constructor. In constructor, you put default values. Is it gonna have some kind of mesh? Is that mesh gonna have some kind of uh, child? Is it gonna have a collision? And you can see uh, it's already put. Is this actor gonna tick so it's gonna have tick function and it's equal to true so uh, about blueprint uh, it's a bit different thing than blue in blueprint but we can say that all these things and these things and these things is defined in constructor 
for example we have a cube uh, which has a child sphere you would define it in constructor and let's say that uh, sphere is set to some kind of location you would define it in constructor so default values well we can say that it has similar functionality as construction script for example if we put some kind of add child actor and we say we want camera uh, you can see it has a camera as default so in your constructor you put things like that but you will well, never do this in blueprint you will rather uh, add it like this in blueprint for sure but as I told you it has extended meaning it's also have uh, this kind of construction script functionality but also all these parts which are not uh, doesn't have to do with some kind of execution or defining functions or uh, variables and let's do one example uh, we have mind my float my bool you can see they are all of those types and we go to our .h file and we will say int 32 my int float my float and we will say bool my bool semicolon so how do we define them we put for int we use int 32 then it goes name what you're gonna call it then for float goes float and then name same for bool and it's important to put this semicolon at the end if you don't put it uh, there will be compile error so we define in our .h file that we're gonna have these three variables and one important thing to note is that you can see all these are private now they're public now they're private and in C++ we just put private and colon and all under that colon will be private variables so let's say that we want this to have a default value for int we will say equals 5 for float we'll say equals 6 dot f uh, that that's the thing we do for floats you can actually write it as 6 but dot f is like standard and for bool we will say equal to true and default values uh, for these simple variables are defined in .h file not in constructor constructor is for much complicated things uh, so in this case let's say that we want uh, on begin play to set my float to 10 and to set my bool to false so let's get back here and we will say uh, my float equals 10 dot f and my bool will be equal to false as you can see once you define the type we define it as bool and float you don't have to uh, write it down you just write down the name of your uh, variable nothing more so yeah that's about it it will happen sequentially it will on begin play it will set my float to 10 and set my bool to false so we say on begin play between these uh, braces it sets my float to 10 and my bool to false uh, and yeah the one important thing is you have to put these semicolons if you don't put these semicolons the C++ will tell you it has an error and that will be all for this tutorial next tutorial we'll talk about uh, creating our own functions